Hello, this is Frank, Home Tech Handyman Service again. Today we're going to be putting knobs and handles on these kitchen cabinets that we installed last week. Uh, gave them enough time to dry, so now we can go ahead and put the knobs on there. Um, at Home Depot or Lowe's or any other your, one of your hardware stores, they don't let you know that they have a template. You pick these templates up at any hardware store, that way you can put them on yourself. Okay, this one right here is for the drawers. And this little one right here is for all your doors. Okay, now what, what my clients have chosen to do, they want to put all the knobs on the doors. Some people put pulls, but they want knobs all on their doors. And then they want all the pulls. They want all, I'm sorry. They want all the pulls on the drawers. So, in saying that, These are the kind of materials you need. Tape measure, Phillips screwdriver, a marker, a drill and a drill bit, and of course all the hardware that we're gonna need. Okay, the first thing you do, since we're gonna be doing knobs on the doors, you gotta make sure which side opens. Cause you can make a mistake and just do this. So you need to open it before you even try to put a hole in it. So we know these open just like this. So the knob's gonna go here. So you take this, and you position it right here. And you align it just like that. If you're comfortable with that right there, with that hole being right there, and you take a sharp object and you just press down on it just like that. Just make an indention. And that way you'll know where it's at. And see, you can see it right there. So you just do all of them in the same hole and you carry out through the whole kitchen and do that. Only the ones that with the knobs though. And remember, like I said, open the door to make sure it's the right side. So you do this. I'm only gonna do three. Okay, now for, for the drawers, this is where your measurements come in at to find that midpoint. You measure the width of the drawer it is 15 and a quarter so half of 15 and a quarter is seven and uh, three quarts seven and three fourths seven and three fourths you can either mark it with a pencil so it'll be easy to uh, erase or you can use a use a marker I'm gonna use a marker, seven and three fourths. So we found the mid, mid section, and then you take this right here. This is for the drawers. I drew a line right here, so that's the middle. You put that on the mark you just made on top of the drawer. And then you find out these are three inches from that hole to that hole is three inches. So you find that on the template, wherever it says three inches at. It's a three inch mark right here. And you just find that. I've already circled them for you. And all you do, you sit this on top of that. That's the look you're trying to achieve. And you do the same thing. You go ahead and push these little holes in just like this with an indention in the wood, just like that. And after you go ahead and do all of them like that, take your drill bit. And make sure you hold the drill steady. Don't do it just like this. Don't do it, do it like that. Go straight. Or when you try to put the screw in, it's not going to go in straight. So I'm going to go ahead and drill this in. that has long screws in it. They have one that has little shorter screws. 
the drawers, I always have a longer screw because there's some extra wood inside the drawer. So you just take that out, just like so. Screw in first. And just like that, you can just screw it in from this side. You can use a regular screwdriver or you can use a little midget screwdriver. That way you can get your hand in there a little bit easier. But that's pretty much it. Just make sure you buy these. This is the whole key to doing this yourself at the Home Depot or Lowe's or any hardware store, store, I'm sorry, store in your uh, town. Uh, well, hit a like button if you like my video. I got more to come. Thanks for watching.